So in today's Warzone video, guys, I'll show you the top five most broken loadouts you can use after our final update here in Warzone. So if you are new, enjoy today's video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell. Thank you guys for watching, and let's hop into it. So for our first weapon, guys, I'm going to start off with our video. It's going to be the M4A1. Now, this weapon was touched in the recent update here. Really good now. Really good at long distance. So what you're going to want to use for it, for the muzzle, we're going to be adding on the monolithic suppressor for that sound suppression and damage at range. Our bullets are going to be stronger at a longer distance. Our weapon is more quiet. We're staying stealthy and staying off the radar, so it is going to help us stay alive a lot longer here. Now, for our barrel, we are going to be running the stock M16 Grenadier barrel. It's going to help with damage at range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. So, our shots are more powerful at a longer distance. Our bullets are traveling faster and air to hit our targets faster. And, of course, our weapon is easier to control at a longer distance, which is going to give you the upper hand in any gunfight you get in, which is going to help with easier kills. Now, for the optic, guys, we're going to be adding on the VOK three times. You can see up close, medium, and far range with this optic. It's really good, so you do want to add this on. For the underbarrel, we are going to be adding on the Commando Foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability. So when aiming down sights, we are more stable. And plus, when firing, our weapon is easier to control. So again, it is going to help with more kills. And then our final attachment, guys, we're going to the magazine. And we are going to be adding on the 50-round mag for a larger magazine size, which is going to help with easier squad wipes. Now, going into our next weapon, guys, we have the Graw 556. Now, I don't know if it was either the Season 4 Reloaded update or if it was the Season 5 update. But they did buff the Graw, made it really good, so you got to start using it. It. Now, going into my classes for the muzzle, we are going to be adding on the monolithic suppressor for that damage at range and that sound suppression. So, that sound suppression is going to keep us off the radar. We're staying quiet, we're staying stealthy, so it is going to help us stay alive a lot longer. And also, that damage at range is going to help our bullets be stronger at a longer distance, so we can kind of give ourselves a safe cushion when getting into those gunfights. Now, also for our next attachment, our barrel is going to be the Tempest 626.4 archangel barrel this can help with damage at range bullet velocity and recoil control so again our bullets are doing more damage at a longer distance so they're going to be even stronger now our bullets are traveling faster now across the map they hit our targets faster and we get recoil control so our shots are going to be easier to control and it's going to help you get a lot more kills now again for the optic we are going to be adding on the vlk three times so again you can see up close medium and long range and of course with the grawl it has really good accuracy range damage and control so you're going to be hitting all your shots be an absolute tank so you're going to add this on as well now for the underbear we are going to be adding on the commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability so when aiming down sights we are more stable when aiming down sights and of course when firing our weapon is easier to control and then for our final attachment, guys, we're going to the magazine, and we're going to be adding on the 50-round mag. I think the 60 is just too much. It's taking away more aim down sight speed, more movement speed. We don't want to be slow, but we also want to have a larger magazine size for those easier squad wipes, but still have a faster aim down sight speed, and we can also move around. But anyways, guys, here's the full class setup. Let's get into our next. Now, getting into our next weapon, guys, we have the OTS, which is one of my favorite SMGs here in Warzone. It's been out for a super long time. It's been nerfed a dozen times, but it's still really good. Now, going into my build for the first attachment, we're going to the muzzle and adding on the Groove Suppressor. This can help with sound suppression, vertical recoil control, full velocity, and effect damage at range. It's keeping us off the radar. We're being quiet and stealthy, so it's helping us stay alive a lot longer. Our weapon's easier to control vertically, which is always good on any weapon you use here in Warzone. Our bullets are traveling faster and air to hit our targets faster, and our bullets are doing more damage at a longer distance. Now, for our barrel, we are going to be adding on the Task Force Barrel, which is, again, one of the best attachments you can run here on the OTS. This can help with effect damage at range, so our bullets are doing more damage across the map. Our bullets are traveling faster to hit our targets faster, and that's strafe speed. So when aiming down sights and you're moving really quick, you're not going to get hit as much. Now, for the laser, we are going to be adding on the Tiger Team Spotlight. This can help with movement speed and aim walking movement speed. So this is going to kind of help the strafe speed. So when aiming down sights, we are moving really quick, and in general, we are moving faster. So again, getting the point A to point B faster, flank it behind people quicker. If we're in a situation that we need to get out, we can get out really quick. So you want to add this on. Now for the magazine, we are going to be running the 40 round fast mag. This is going to help with a larger magazine size for easy squad wipes, and you can reload fast. If you get into a sticky situation, you got to reload, get back to that gunfight. The reload quickness is going to help. And then for our final attachment, guys, we're going to the stock, and we're going to be adding on the KGB skeletal stock. It's going to help with ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint the fire speed to help us be really aggressive. It's going to add on to that stray speed to make us really quick when aiming down sights, and we are moving faster when firing at the same time. Now for our next weapon, guys, we have the Kilo 141, which has been one of the most dominant assault rifles since it got buffed in Season 4. Really popular, so if you want this build, 
you're gonna like it now going into our build for the muzzle we have the monolithic suppressor it's gonna help with damage at range and sound suppression so we're more quiet staying stealthy and of course with that damage at range our bullets are doing more damage across the map with the kilo it already has really good accuracy damage and range so it just makes this weapon 20 times better now going into our barrel, we're going to be adding on the Syngard Arms 19.8 Prowler Barrel. This can help with damage at range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. So again, it's going to help our bullets be even stronger now across the map. Our bullets are traveling faster to hit our targets quicker and our recoil control. Now the Kilo already has a pretty low recoil. Now it has zero recoil. You have full control of your weapon and shouldn't have any excuses on missing your shots. So you want to add this barrel on. Now for our next attachment guys we're going to the optic and we're adding on the holographic site which is the second one you should have it unlocked but if you don't want to run this you can add on the VLK but make sure with the holographic site you do have the blue dot makes it 50 times better to use I feel more comfortable using the blue dot so I'm adding that on as well. Now for the magazine guys, we're adding on the 50 round mag for a larger magazine size. So like I was talking about with the Graw, you don't want to have to go with the 60 because it just takes away too much aim down sight speed and movement speed. I think the 50 is just perfect. You're not losing out on too much movement speed. Aim down sight speed, you can still be aggressive and move quick around the map. And then for our final attachment guys, we're going to the underbell and adding on the commando foregrip for recoil stabilization and aiming stability. Now for our final weapon guys, we have the Fennec, which is the fastest killing SMG here in Warzone and also one of the fastest killing weapons here in Warzone as well. Now going into our build, we're going to be going to the barrel and adding on the ZLR 18 inch deadfall barrel. This can help with damage at range, recoil control, bullet velocity, and sound suppression. So we have that suppressor, built in suppressor, so it's kind of like two attachments in one here. Our bullets are traveling faster and air to hit our targets faster, which is a really good combo with how fast the fire rate is. Our weapon's easier to control now. Since this weapon has a very fast fire rate, it's kind of hard to control sometimes. And also our damage at range is increased, so our bullets are doing more damage at a longer distance. Now for our next attachment, guys, we're going to the stock, and we're going to be adding on the no stock. This can help with movement speed and aim down sight speed. So we're aiming down sights really quick, and we're also moving faster around the map. This weapon is pretty small, so you can be really quick around the map, easier juking, get to point A to point B faster, and get out of position if you are hurt and you need to run away. Now for our next attachment, we're going to the rear grip and adding on the stippled grip tape. This can help with aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. So we're shooting faster off a sprint, really aggressive here, and we have an even faster aim down sight speed, which is going to help you be more aggressive here. The magazine is going to be the 40 round drum. You want to have this on, very important attachment. You don't want to have to reload every time you get a kill. If not, maybe clutch up every other kill, but this weapon has a very fast time to kill very fast fire rate so you want to have a larger magazine size on for easy squad wipes and then for our final attachment guys we're going to the under barrel and adding on the merc foregrip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy so you can either aim down sight take people out or you could actually hip fire with that hip fire accuracy which comes in clutch as well but anyways guys those are my top five builds you need to be running right now here in warzone after the final update if you are new enjoy today's video if you enjoy any of these builds let me know but thank you guys so much for watching you guys stay safe and i'll see you on the next one Thank <laughs> you.